was just here maybe two hours ago How did I get here again? My nine to five hours of draining all my energy How did I get here again? My melodramatic nature's gonna do me in How did I get here again? guys we are here at Stourhead National Trust uh, you see the house behind me so it is a house and gardens uh, but the gardens are actually supposed to be some of the most beautiful in the country I've never actually been here before I have actually flown over this place um, just a few miles uh, kind of north east from here is Longleat Safari Park and we actually flew a balloon out of the Safari Park from their Sky Safari and we flew over this uh, and carried on further over there. So I've flown over this, but I've never actually been here. So I'm looking forward to, uh, I guess, exploring the garden, seeing what it's like. It's a bit of an overcast day, keeps threatening a little bit of rain every now and then. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get in terms of photographs. Um, but the great thing is a lot of our country houses and parks and sort of protected buildings in this country, you can usually get a membership. So you've got things like uh, English Heritage, this is National Trust. So I have a membership for a year, which means I can visit here as many times as I want and it's free every single time. Um, and it's relatively cheap. It's like sort of seven pounds a month or something like that when you look at it. So it's kind of a no brainer really. You only have to visit a couple of places and it's paid for itself. So um, definitely worth doing. So yeah, today we're gonna do some exploring around the gardens. We're gonna have a look um, see what we can find. It's supposed to be lakes, it's supposed to be very ornate buildings, it's supposed to be very, very, very picturesque, very historic in that sort of sense. So if you're into Pride and Prejudice and that kind of stuff, then yeah, I think this is up your street. So uh, let's go and explore.
Well, it was a very enjoyable afternoon walking around uh, the National Trust property. Um, definitely something I'd recommend coming and doing and definitely something that I'm going to come back and do. But for me, it would be so much nicer if the sun was out all the time. Um, I think I've got some nice photographs there, but I think they would have been improved you know, much more by having the sun out. The trees just were just nice. Everything was so much nicer when the sun did come out. Um, but that said, it, I think it's still uh, a really beautiful place to explore. Um, definitely on one of my sort of top lists of properties to come and visit. Um, just every angle you had, there was something different. Uh, it, it didn't matter which way you looked. Um, they've designed these gardens fantastically, I think. And the grottos were amazing. There's a little grotto we kind of walked through. Um, you obviously had two or three temples there. Uh, there was a Gothic cottage, which we couldn't do at the moment. But, um, and then, yeah, end it all. There was a nice cafe at the end there with a the shop. You can have a look around, buy a few things. Um, so all in all, I think a, a good day out. So definitely going to come back. Um, heading back to the car now, but I think what we're going to do, the estate itself is actually quite large. Um, and further on over the estate, which I think over in this direction to me, which probably makes no sense to you guys, um, there's King Alfred's Tower as well. So I think as I'm in the area, might as well come and check that out. So um, let's go and have a look. So guys, as you can see, we've made it to the tower, um, which is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, certainly bigger than some of the follies I've seen uh, like in Bristol and that sort of thing. Um, so the tower itself was actually built by Henry Horde II. Um, and basically he was passionate about his history. So King Alfred, who was uh, essentially a true English king, uh, won a great victory over the Danes with a small army to keep England free. And the battle actually took place in AD 878. Uh, and he actually raised the standard and rallied the troops near to where this tower stands. And this was something that the Georgians would have done to sort of show great wealth and power to erect these kind of towers. Interesting fact though, in 1944, an American plane actually crashed into the top of the tower. The top 10 meters had to be rebuilt and they actually needed a helicopter to lower the very top of the tower into place. So from here, you can actually walk all the way down into the sort of uh, Stourhead House and Gardens. There's a number of paths around here, walk around the woodlands and that kind of thing. Um, so if you wanted to, you could park up here and then walk down there into the estate, but it's going to be a few miles walking if that's what you want to do. Right, that's it. It's, uh, it's getting cold. So heading back to the car, uh, the sun is setting, but um, yeah, fascinating tower. Fascinating about the, uh, the plane as well, taking it out or nearly taking it out. So I love, love bits of history like that. Um, so yeah, I had a really great day. It's definitely worth a visit. Um, I was just having a look and there's some more trails over the woodlands and um, you can see for sort of miles uh, the woods and that. So I think even, even if you go to, go to Stourhead, it's definitely worth visiting and having a wander around the woods. Um, maybe do a bit of geocaching. 
which is what I've just done. Shh, don't tell everyone. Um, so yeah, uh, really enjoyable day. Let me know in the comments though, do you have any of your favorite places you like going to? Um, places that you, you know, you think uh, are worth visiting like that? If so, just leave a comment down below. We'd love a, sort of your favorite places, maybe your favorite National Trust places if you're from the UK or visit the UK. Um, which ones should I go visiting? So uh, share that with me or share it with others because they probably want to know as well. Um, right, so yeah, heading back to the car. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a little thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to share, comment, all those good things. Truly helps the, the channel. And actually every, every time you leave a like, it, it's, you know, if, it fills my heart because I know you guys are liking the, liking the content. And uh, we'll see you next time. So thanks for watching, see ya.